It could have been the last speech Queen Elizabeth ever gave to her country, except it never happened. Now this madness of war is once more spreading through the world. We all know that the dangers facing us today are greater by far than at any time in our long history. The year was 1983 and Cold War tensions were running high throughout Europe. With the threat of an armed Soviet Union and the possibility the nation could be on the brink of another war, British officials drew up that speech, meant for the Queen to deliver in the event of a nuclear attack. We just heard an actress read the text, as Queen Elizabeth herself never did. Meant only for internal use, the speech was part of a series of war game exercises designed to prepare Britain in case the Cold War turned hot. Britain's National Archives released the previously classified speech under a 30-year rule for public records from the Prime Minister's office. The exercise used senior officials to play the roles of ministers and recreated the conditions of a conflict. The Queen's speech was part of efforts to make the exercise as realistic as possible. In the drafted speech, the Queen also would recall the horror she and her sister Margaret felt as they listened to their father, King George, announce the outbreak of World War II. It's only one of many such speeches written, but never delivered. Like one drafted for Richard Nixon should NASA's Apollo 11 moon landing have failed. Or then General Dwight Eisenhower's address to the nation in the event of a D-Day failure. And of course, the Dallas address President John F. Kennedy never had the chance to deliver. Buckingham Palace said it couldn't comment on whether the Queen had ever seen the speech. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.